there. I am here outside of the Broken Yoke Cafe. I am getting ready to head in and take on the Iron Man Challenge. As I understand it, it's a 12 egg omelet. It's filled with mushrooms and peppers and cheese and all sorts of good things like that. Uh, it's also smothered in chili, which should be awesome. There's a large side of potatoes that come with that and a couple biscuits. So I'm hungry. Let's get in there and eat. Broken Yolk Cafe. I've ordered the challenge, so I'm excited. Um, I can't wait to see it when it comes out as to how big it really is. One of the things I've seen on foodchallenges.com is that uh, sizes may vary between locations, and I've seen a lot of different sizes of these challenges come out. So, let's see what I get. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. That's great. Hope you this enjoy, is sir. Uh, bigger than I expected it to be yeah. for 12 eggs. But That's 12 eggs. Alright, so you wow. have an hour to finish it. Um, we won't start the timer until you take your first bite. How about that? That sounds perfect. Okay, and then you're more than welcome to get up, walk around, um, go to the restroom. As long as I don't see you gagging, you're kind of, you know, okay. like, and then I would have to stop I, you. I won't throw up. I'll stop yeah. before then. Enjoy. Woo! That looks definitely <laughs> like it's more than 12 eggs. Wow. I think so. Yeah. Do you have a timer? Are you going to start a timer or are you just uh, going to no, go by that? Go ahead. You can go by yours. All right. So. All right. Getting ready to start. Let's count it down. Three, two, one, go. Oh. As I dig into this omelet, one of the first things that I notice is just how hot this omelet is. I mean, it is still steaming and extremely hot. The flip side of that is, you know, all of the cheese that's on top, I have failed every other egg challenge that I've done. They've usually had a lot of cheese on it, and as the cheese gets cold, it gets hard, it certainly doesn't taste that good anymore, and I didn't want to wait for the cheese to cool down, or for everything to cool down and the cheese to get cold. On my first impression, this omelet's delicious. Um, it is really good. So far, really good. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's also really hot. So inside, it's filled with all sorts of mushrooms. Although I gotta believe that this is more than 12 eggs, but Ooh. it's filled with all sorts of mushrooms and loaded with cheese and onions. Potatoes look really good. Um, smothered in some chili and onions and, and such, um, with even more cheese on top. Overall, this thing tastes really good. I'm really happy with it. I hope so. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. But uh, it is a monster. I will. I, I, I weighed this ahead of time and I'll weigh the trays afterwards to kind of tear it out. Uh, I'll give you the, the total weight of it afterwards. So far, really good. Very well cooked. So the eggs are cooked all the way through. It's a very much a, a multi, multi, multi layer omelet. Whoever cooked it did a really good job. The 
see the, the multi layers, and I picked that off of other layers. Say, I don't know if you can see the steam, but we're doing good. It's a good thing I like mushrooms. Whoever took it definitely knew what he was doing. Let some of the steam out of this too. Very hot. Looking at the video, you can see just how thick this omelet is and how stuffed it is with mushrooms, chili, onions. I mean, it is just layer after layer, super stuffed, super thick. Damn, bro. Hungry this morning. <laughs> the potatoes are very good, too. I did ask for the potatoes to be cooked a little longer than they normally would. From what I can tell, they did a great job. I like the uh, crispy pieces of them and they're cooked all the way through. Quite a bit of heat. Oh, that, bite, that bite was hot. <clears throat> really, I think it's not the mushrooms and the chili that are retaining most of the heat. They may be hot, but in the grand scheme of things, hot's a good thing. Uh, I'd much rather them be hot than cold. Mm. Cut it up just a little bit at a time. Um, it definitely needs to cool some, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't really care for cold eggs. So let that side retain more of the heat while this side, this side cools off. It is very noisy in here. I'm hoping that uh, the audio does come through. We'll see in the end. As loud as it was in here, uh, I am really impressed that my voice came through as clear as it did uh, with my mic. Uh, I did buy a new mic and it really does seem to be working well in picking things up. The background noise that's on this, you can hear how loud it is, but it's not nearly as loud as the restaurant really sounded, sounded in person. So as I mix some of the potato in here, and to remind it overall, potatoes can be kind of dry. Probably want to add something to them. I'm more than halfway through the eggs. So far, so good. I still feel good. Um, the eggs have been delicious. I've been really happy with that. And although the potatoes may be a little dry, overall they taste great. This is just filled. Absolutely just filled with mushrooms and onions and cheese predominantly. There is a lot of it. As I continue to eat, I am just amazed at how much stuff was packed inside this omelet. Like I said, I am at the Broken Yolk Cafe. Mm. 
here in Spring, Texas. Uh, Spring, Texas is a little bit north of Houston. And uh, just a, a suburb of Houston. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, very happy with how this turned out. say that after tasting this, if you're in the spring area and you haven't tried the broken yolk, you like eggs, you like breakfast, give them a try. Really good. So far so good. Not yet. I'll try not to fail, but... The staff here were awesome. A really great support squad cheering me on, a lot of positive encouragement. Uh, and there were some customers around too that they were also very encouraging and uh, very friendly. You want what I'm having, right? No. Very good. It was a lot of fun talking to some of the other customers as I was doing this. Uh, like I said, very encouraging. Just overall, a, a great atmosphere here. All this hot food, I'm starting to sweat. I'm definitely warming up. Yeah, the hot eggs, um, after a while, they really start to kind of wear on me, and as I start to heat up. Um, fortunately, it, it wasn't that bad overall. Uh, I've had worse with some other challenges, so all in all, this was great. You did pretty good there. Well, thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, good, good. It looks like you're definitely really slowing good. down. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say don't leave the biscuits to the end, though. Try to get them in there, too. Uh, I will get them in yeah. there, but yeah. well, I, I say that. We'll see, but I probably will wait till the end. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a couple people do it, just, you know, but when I see the, the biscuits to the end, that's where it kind of gets done, you know? Well, whatever's at the end is going to yeah. be hard. Just, to, yeah, <laughs> true, anything, yeah. My strategy was definitely to leave the biscuits till the end. I knew if I uh, drank some fluids that the biscuits would retain those and just make the challenge harder overall. There are, there are a lot of mushrooms and onions and cheese and everything that's stuffed inside here. What's that? I'm recording me. I'll put it on YouTube. I know I said this before, but it, it really is a good thing that I like mushrooms because it, there must have been a garden full in here. There were a lot of mushrooms. Um, at this point, as I'm getting close to the end of the omelet, you know, I am getting a little tired of the mushrooms. Um, they are really good and really delicious, but after a while, they're just getting to be kind of monotonous. As I smash up the, uh, the last part of the, the omelet and let things cool, I'm also trying to, to mix the cheese in there to make sure that the, the cheese stays warm. As it cools off, it's not that good. It probably looks like I've got more left than I really do, but I would say that I'm probably down to the last 15% uh, of the omelet. Almost there. You may have noticed, but I've also changed up the way I'm eating this a little bit as I'm mixing in some of the potatoes in with the omelet just to sort of change the flavor up a little bit as I go on and it'll also keep the uh, potatoes from being quite so dry. Alright, I'm knocking it down. Slowly but surely. I'm getting slower. A little worried about finishing this. Um, like I said before, I have failed every other egg challenge that I've done. 
And this one's a big one, seven pounds. Um, it's really pushing me at my limits. I may have slowed down, but I'm still trying to push through. We shall see. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. But I'm definitely slowing down. All of the eggs that I've eaten so far, and you know, a lot of the potatoes as well. I've also had a couple of drinks, probably about 24 ounces of fluids too, so it's uh, pushing me pretty hard. And, uh, certainly trying to change up the flavor a little bit, you saw me put a little bit of hot sauce on there. But overall, with the, the mushrooms and the chili that was in there, uh, the hot sauce really wasn't a good pairing with rest of that stuff that we're in these omelets. Normally I love salsa or hot sauce or things like that on the eggs, uh, but this particular hot sauce with what was in here wasn't a very good mixture. So that was the, the last of the hot sauce that I put on these and I certainly didn't add any more. Thank you very much. Again, there has been a lot of support from a lot of different customers. Uh, it's certainly motivational and it really did make me want to continue to push on and, and uh, I really wanted to be successful. A lot of good support for some other customers here. I'm really happy with that. Alright, so this pile is mixed with potatoes and eggs. It will be a lot for the omelet. I'm getting closer. I'm not going to throw it. I'll stop long before then. But can I get another drink? Huh. I'm trying. It, it is. It's still good, but it was a lot better when I started. I don't really know what I'm feeling at this point. I look down at the tray and think, wow, I'm getting, I'm getting really close. Uh, almost too close to fail, but at the same time, I'm also getting pretty filled up. Knowing how dry the biscuits are, I'm still pretty concerned about them as well. All right. This is my last bite of any of the egg pieces left. Ooh, I feel like this is an accomplishment. So far, so good. Still have a pile of potatoes left. And a couple of biscuits. A pile of potatoes, a couple of biscuits. I know these are hard and dry. Oh, excuse me. All right. Nothing but potato. Nice to have a different flavor, but the uh, potatoes are a little dry too. Oh. 
Potatoes may be dry, but I'm feeling much better about this challenge at this point being done with the eggs. Uh, feels like a big accomplishment and I'm starting to feel like I really could win this one and I'm feeling good. Getting close. I'm feeling pretty filled. You can't give up now, right? Oh no, I'm not giving up now. I'm too close. This is it, my last stretch to finish up the, the last of the potatoes. Um, I think at this point, there's not enough left to fail on this. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good at this point. Still, still a little worried about the, the biscuits, but I'm feeling pretty good about finishing this. I'm done with the egg and the potato. Well, minus what's in my mouth. All right, now I'm done with the eggs and potatoes. Uh, two biscuits left. I understand they are dry as can be. So, add some butter. Now I'm realizing I should have added the butter while they were warm and it could soak in. biscuits could get any drier. But I am too close to fail now. I did make a mistake with these biscuits by putting the butter on them. Uh, the biscuits were cold, the butter didn't melt. Um, it just wasn't a great combination. I really should have asked for some honey or put some of the jelly on them. I think it would have been a, a much better mix for these biscuits and it would have been a help to try to eat them. Almost. Yeah. I think I should have put butter on these while they were still warm. You want me to get you on your No, that's okay. I can trade that one off. No, no, that's okay. Really. It's very nice of the manager to offer to go and, and replace the biscuit with a warm one. Probably would have been better to eat, but at this point, I just wanted to finish them up um, and move on. I'm down to the last biscuit. Huh. I am too close now to fail. The only thing that will fail me now is time. I have not looked at my timer. Hope all is still good. Because these are going to take a little while. Last biscuit. I'm down to the last bit of this challenge and you'll see that as I eat this biscuit I'm drinking a lot more also just to try to get this thing down it was so dry 
Uh, the warm biscuit would have been better, um, even better than that, I think. If I had picked honey or the jelly or something like that, that, that may have been a little more moisture and probably a little more flavor as well, it would have made it a, a lot better. But, um, just about there, and I'm getting it down. Last bite. <sighs> this was a chore. Last bite. <sighs> 51 minutes, 23 seconds. You did it! And I finished it. Thank you. Appreciate the coffee. Good job. Thank you. Oh yeah. Can I hold on to this for a sec? <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm here at the uh, the Broken Yoke in Spring, Texas. I just finished the Iron Man Challenge, the 12 egg omelet challenge. Just stuffed with mushrooms and cheese and onions and a whole bunch of potatoes and a couple biscuits. This was uh, quite the feat for me. A lot of people that were interested in, in seeing me finish this. This was awesome. Um, the food was great, and they definitely know how, knew how to cook this. Um, it was cooked all the way through. They did a great job. Uh, all of it. Um, Common place. Broken Yolk, Spring, Texas, just north of Houston. Uh, um, I will put a, a link to the restaurant down here. I know it's it's really loud in here. Hopefully you can hear me. But uh, if you like these videos. Please like and subscribe. This was awesome. I'm thrilled. I feel like this was a, a big accomplishment. And I'm feeling it. Ah, nose is running. But I feel good. I feel really good. And I feel really, I feel like I really accomplished this. This was, uh, this was awesome. And that, Call quits. I'm out. Thank you very much. I did it. I did it. Yes. Hey, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. You said the price, man. That's quite the challenge. Yeah, so you get a free meal, free shirt, and thank you. I knew you could do it. Thank you. <laughs> no, Look at him thinking about it. Oh, you did it! I knew you could do it! Thank you very you much. You have nine minutes left. Yeah. I don't, yeah we, we saw I'll your... edit the video and put it on probably in a couple of weeks. Actually, right, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for it. it. I looked up on Instagram and I was like, okay. I'll, I'll wait for it. I'll wait for that video. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'll do a good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. Free meal t-shirt, the plaque that will go up on the wall, this is awesome. <laughs>